What's going on, everybody? I hope you're having a great day today. Um, even though it is a work day and I am at work, I'm having a good day. The sun's out. It's nice and warm. Um, I will say the allergies are, uh, are are coming out now. The the pollen and everything's really killing me on my eyes and my uh, <clears throat> my throat. But you know, it's worth it if I'm going to get some warm weather. So that being said, um, I just wanted to jump into this video real quick today. Um, and if you recall, if you watch the channel regularly and you recall a couple of weeks ago, I put out a video about a quote unquote new run launcher, which really wasn't a new run launcher it was just a new way I figured out to do a run launcher and that was with FZF well if we launch my run launcher you know you can see right here it's not D menu um, and it's not Rofi but it's actually FZF it is a great little program that is usually used as kind of a scrolling through files and stuff but I found a way and kind of made up a way to use it as a run launcher to launch programs well that being said I liked it so much <clears throat> I wanted to use it for all my menus um, not just my run launcher, but I wanted to launch my script for um, editing config files, and I wanted to launch my VSP script for installing void source packages, and I wanted to use it to launch my um, uh, logout window, and you know all these other menus that I have that I usually run through D menu or Rofi. Um, I really like the way this works, so I wanted to go ahead and try and do it through there. Problem was. I was on Herb's Lift, which I love Herb's Lift. If you guys have watched my channel regularly, you know I switched to Herb's Lift as my daily driver when I switched to Void Linux, um, and I really enjoyed it. I really have enjoyed it for a long time. The problem with it is I can't do this on Herb's Lift the way I want to do it. Can I make all these menus? Absolutely. But the problem is they would all be full screen because I have to be able to run them as a scratch pad to be able to change the size of them, and I couldn't do that in Herb's Lift. So... I went back to old reliable. Um, if you we close this out here and we go ahead and launch a terminal and we zoom in, you can see right there, good old Xmonad. Um, Xmonad has been my favorite window manager for quite some time now. Um, I'm not gonna lie, DT got me hooked on him. If you don't know who DT is, obviously I'm sure you do because he is like one of the top uh, Linux YouTubers out there. Um, so if you haven't heard of him by some strange reason, go check out his channel. It's DistroTube. Um, but I'm sure you have because if you've heard of me and you're watching mine, I know you've got to have heard of his. But anyway, that being said, he got me hooked on uh, Xmonad and I loved it. I used it for a long time. So I kind of came back here because I can have multiple scratch pads instead of just the one um, scratch workspace like uh, Herp's lift handles. So. That being said, let's go ahead and close this. Um, I just kind of want to show you this. Um, so we have the original, which was my run menu for launching programs. So I could just type in Alacrity or Nemo or Ranger or whatever else. And you could launch from this with no issues, right? So I did that one. Um, I also wanted to have, like I said, my uh, edit configs script. So if we do a mod shift E, um, you can see these are the different config files I get into quite often and I can just log into one of these from right here and launch it and do my configuration. So we have that one. Um, we have the close or my uh, logout menu. So if I do mod shift C, you can see right here I've got cancel, logout, shut down, reboot. So I have my menu there and then I also have my, um, <clears throat> if you recall my VSP script for my void source packages. If we launch a terminal, let's clear the screen and let's go ahead and zoom in. You know, I created that script where I could just do VSP and then name a program and install it from the Zoid. It would check it for, check for it in the void source packages and then install it um, just to make things a little easier so I didn't have to go through all the steps individually. Um, well, I kind of updated and tweaked that script a little bit. I still have it, I can still do this, but basically VSP you had to use it by opening a terminal, running that command, and then you'd get all the verbose output, which was good. You could see what was going on and all that. Um, and yes, if I wanted to do something else, I could change workspaces or open another window or whatever with it still going. Um, but I kind of wanted another way to do that that would just make, me, make it so I didn't have to uh, type in the name of the um, program I was looking for and then run the script to check to see if it was there. So basically what I did was... Um, let's go ahead and zoom out here a little bit. And yeah, we're going to vim into my dot local um, and then scripts. And then I, I built this script again and called it VSP2. 
So if we hit enter, it's still basically the same script. It basically checks for the package you're looking for and everything and then installs it and all that. But what I've done is I've created a command up here that's pkg that basically is going to run the ls command on the source packages file or directory for the void source packages and then it's going to pipe it into that fcf menu that i've created and so that way all i have to do is if we switch here and i do a mod shift i then over here i get all the void source packages and i can just type in what i want say i want a certain kind of font i can go ttf and then look at there i can scroll down and see what fonts there are okay oh roboto there it is right there your fonts roboto ttf hit enter it goes ahead and installs it so I just wanted to have that option to be able to read it as opposed to type it in and let the script run and check to see if it's there. So basically, um, that's what that does. I, it checks for the package that I select in the menu. Um, it, if it's already installed, it tells you you're good to go. Program already installed. Um, have a wonderful day, gorgeous, because, you know, I'm gorgeous and it knows it. <laughs> and it sleeps and exit. Um, otherwise, it CDs into the correct directories and it does a get pull to update everything and then it does a install and it gives you a not little notification up in the side here that shows you that it's installing and it's installing, installing, installing and then once it's done installing, you get a notification that says it's been installed. So I can't run it right now because I am in my truck on my lunch break and I don't have my phone to hook my internet up to my computer so I can't run the um, <clears throat> run the script right now. Um, just take my, you can take my word for it. It works. Or you can, um, if you're running void, you can, uh, um, get it off my GitHub and, uh, try it out for yourself, but it, it's pretty cool. So it's just mod shift. I, you scroll down or type in what you're looking for and launch. So basically that was the whole reason I switched back to X monad. Um, it's because I wanted to be able to make all those scripts or all those menus look the same. And I wanted to use that FZF menu that I'd created. And, I gotta say, I love the looks of it. So again, that's the uh, uh, run launcher right there. That's the scripts launcher right there, or the config file launcher right there. We've got the logout menu right there. We've got the um, <clears throat> void source packages right there. Um, so it's all, it's just really cool to be able to have all these um, menus and have them all look the same and use FCF. I gotta tell you, I'm probably not positive yet because I haven't, I haven't figured out if it's going to work for everything, but once I figure out if this FCF deal is going to work for everything, man, I'm going to, I'm going to be done with the menu and Rofi, I think, because it's just a really cool, really cool program. So it's been working great. So I just kind of wanted to show off what I've got, what I've got going on here, show off my, uh, uh, my system and my launchers and everything. And, um, just kind of give you a heads up as to what was going on. Um, that being said, side note, I am almost finished with my install script. I know I keep saying that, but, um, I am almost done. I actually, this week, past weekend, I blew it out and started completely over. Um, changed a few things around on it, um, but I've tested it several times on what I've got done so far, and it's working. Um, so I am almost done with it, and as soon as I have it done, um, I will get it out. I've just kind of got to get together the packages that I'm going to need to install with it and everything like that to get it everything on your system. So it's basically just run this script and you're good to go as opposed to run the script, okay, now install this package or this package or this package or whatever. I wanna have everything on it pre-cooked in, ready to go, so that way when you install it, you can just fire it off and the um, only thing you'll have to change is your key bindings or some colors if you don't like. So um, that being said, that's what's going on. Um, uh, and I just kind of wanted to show off uh, my menus and my system. So um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, and I hope that uh, your week goes well and you guys stay safe and uh, enjoy whatever it is you do. Uh, friends, family, alone time, whatever it is you got going on. Um, and I hope you really enjoy it. Um, I'm praying for each one of you. And uh, yeah, just God bless. Have a great weekend.